Hey there, I'm Milspec Monkey, and in this video, I wanted to go over our new CYOA Loop Pack. Now, for you youngins out there, that stands for Choose Your Own Adventure based on the old style books. So, the core design idea was we took our uh, DAP pack, and then for those who thought it was a little bit small, because they see it on me and I'm about one third smaller than a more standard sized person, something that's a little bit bigger, and then obviously it can hold more. But uh, that's just a starting point for, for core changes. As you can see, this is kind of in a crunched in compressed mode. So we can release these when you need to hold a bigger load. And as you can see, you can get in quite a haul. And not done there. The interior is loop material. So instead of us trying to pretend we know your exact organizational needs, it's more of a platform system where you can really dial in to your exact needs. So for those unfamiliar with the ADAPT pack, the CYOA pack has similar features, starting with the sternum strap and the main shoulder strap. Use one inch webbing and hardware to add a little bit more cross functionality. As an example of that, the sternum strap can go up pretty far, down pretty far. This allows one to go above or below breast, make it a little easier on females or folks with big pecs. And getting into the other functionality, say if you want to do a single strap setup, I'll attempt to do while worn here. And bear with me where I'll show how to hide that strap later. Anyway, in a single strap setup, this makes it a little bit easier for grab and go style or say you just need to access the pack while worn. As an example of that, sling on over like this. And for a CCW example, see pretty easy to get to your blaster, do what you need to do. Use it as kind of like a tabletop admin, depending on how ever you set it up. Easy to square things away. Time to put that blaster back. Put it in and you got double zippers so it makes it real easy to go either direction and then swing on back over. And then from this position it's a good example to show the additional functionality of our hardware setup. So you can use this extra hardware here and do a messenger bag cross setup and this adds a little bit more stability, easy to pop off when you need to swing it back over compared to say two strap style. Up top is still a nice drag handle and have cord ports on each side and this allows for routing of hydration or general wires and it, the pack is going to be a little bit big for mounting to an assault vest so we don't include the hardware but at least we have the straps to where if one wants to make that happen we still have the capability to do so. We kept the shock cord system however we did add an extra attachment point at the bottom the whole system is removable if desired we also added more loop to the PAL zone to give more patch holding options. As an example of seeing the shock cord system in action, here it is holding a hoodie. A 1.5 inch simple belt is included, however if you don't want it, it's pretty easy to remove. They certainly help with larger loads, but say for more of an EDC style it could get in the way. And any remaining hardware is pretty easy to tuck away. On that note, going back to our earlier demo, say you wanted to get your extra strap out of the way, say this was the loner from the single strap setup, it can be tucked into the hydration compartment. And then say you could even do both straps if you wanted a clean snatch bag style. Just in case to clarify, it may look like there's a hardware overkill, but the vast majority of the hardware is removable. So say here like on your cross strap hardware. You just push in here while pulling out on this side. That pops it out and then you can pull it on out. And just store this away till you need it later. With the larger size, the CYOA pack has three compartments. Main, middle CCW, and the frontal. Starting with the frontal compartment, opens up with a single zipper and the interior is deceptively spacious. One can really pack this bad boy up. Due to this, we added two simple sleeve pockets in the interior. They hold all, all kinds of goodies, and as a quick example, they make great for mag stashing. The middle compartment opens with dual zippers, and due to this nice round curve, the zippers move very smooth. And it opens up with near clamshell style. Inside is a loop vest. None of these hook-backed accessories are included, but at least an example to show you 
kind of how one can pimp it out. You got like medical style, CCW style, all different ways with using this loop platform. Main compartments, very similar, opening with the same smooth zippers. This time to a full clamshell style to really spread the pack as desired. And once again, a loop fest. These are just here for examples and are not included, but no loop on the sides or the bottom, but you get a full amount of loop fabric for both the internal sides. And similar to the CCW, but you have more holding capacity in the main compartment. This back compartment is mostly a hydration compartment, yet can be pretty multi-purpose. Opens up with simple hook and loop. Under the sleeve is a hanger keeper, which is good for hanging hydration bladders. Usually holds between two to three liters, depending on the shape of your bladder. This whole back side is padded, so that way if you're not holding the straps or the hydration bladder, it's usually good to hold tablets or slim notebooks as an alternate option. Show off the sides better. This is a full expansion showing the 7x4 PALS layout, which can hold all different kinds of side pouches. Great for water bottles, ammo pouches, GP, whatever. can get real creative. When that's not needed and you just need a more compressed pack, these slick clips are included to use the PALS to crunch it in and keep the pack nice and compressed without any compression straps at all. For those who do like compression straps, don't worry, we have your back. We include all this hardware you see here. There's six webbing straps, six G-hooks, four repair style SRB buckles, and four repair style ladder locks. We may mix it up between ITW and Duraflex, but it's all good hardware anyway. So as an example here, the SRBs are good for the quick release. G-hooks are good for small and compact hardware spacing. And similar with the ladder locks, where they're a little bit easier to adjust, yet still nice and compact. So right out of the box, you, you get a lot of room to be experimental and creative with whatever problems may come your way. The bottom includes a good amount of PALS webbing. This allows more pouches to be attached or just generally being good lash down points. As an example of that, here it is holding a bedroll using the supplied hardware. One may want longer straps, but this shows that you can make it happen with what you get. On a similar subject, for the shoulder straps, there's webbing and elastic. So this way one could hold a small pouch, like a radio pouch, or use the elastic to route things like comms gear or hydration tubes. We started with tactical use in mind when designing the CUI OA pack. However, we are hoping that all kinds of adventure folks would appreciate how the pack can really be tweaked and adjusted to suit whatever needs they may have, and even so on the fly. The pack itself kind of starts as a platform, however we offer all kinds of pals backed and hook back pouches to do all kinds of different holding options. Thanks again for watching.